Stephen is the man with the hat and the wumbling eye. Oh, oh, oh. Looking for receipts and treasures to find. Oh, oh, oh. He wobbles in the morning, he wobbles at night, finding value in the things that others leave behind. New videos every week, so please subscribe. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Stephen, I'm the man with a hat and today I'm wombling in Monk's Cross, Asda at Monk's Cross and then Sainsbury's and then Tesco and then McDonald's. And uh, this last couple of days um, I've had some major publicity on the Telegraph, Daily Mirror, Sun, various other newspapers and um, I've been wanting to put the record straight about wombling because so many people tend to think that wamblers are tramps, bin divers, people with no ethics, thieves. Whereas wombling is not illegal. Um, I'm retired at 58, so I don't need to womble for money. Like a lot of our members survive purely because of wombling uh, in these hard times. I do it because I enjoy it. I've got a thrifty nature and I enjoy picking up things that other people have left behind, thrown away, or whatever. So today I'm looking for various items, as to it's going to be receipts which people have left behind and I'm going to use them to compare on the Asta price guarantee on their website to see if that shopping could have been bought somewhere else cheaper. Because if it was, they give a price match plus 10%. Now if you've never wombled before, um, one of the first things we do is check the trolley bays for any receipts that have been left in the trolleys. We find all sorts of things in trolleys. The weirdest thing and the most commonest thing we find are cucumbers. I don't know why. There's one. There's a nice long one. Lovely. Another one. Another one. There's one there and one there. Oh, there's a nice one there, look. Nice long one. Now the longer ones unfortunately tend to average themselves out, which means they're not usually cheaper elsewhere in other supermarkets, but it's worthwhile checking them. Another one. Wombling is not illegal or dishonest and fraudulent in any way. It's purely picking up the things that people left behind. But to be honest, most supermarkets and stores do they don't encourage wombling because it means the reward, the money back or the price guarantee or the perks that are offered, which have been lost by the people, are not actually being used by the original recipients because they've lost them. They don't really want to encourage people like us to go along and pick them up, except Asta, which are very good. We have a good relationship with them, and they've actually sent me a letter as well in case we get any problems with wombling in store, and the security or the management even don't understand what wombling is. So for a copy of that, just go to our group at wombling.co.uk, where there's over 5,500 members at this moment, and there's a letter in there which you can carry with you in case you get any problems. It has been known because um, the staff have not been educated on to wombling and the use of the uh, vouchers which have been printed off by womblers. But as to HQ are fully conversant with it and they do nothing to discourage us from wombling because it brings them business, especially from the people who would normally not shop at Asda because they usually go to Lidl or Aldi or something like that. But of course if they're womblers, they go shopping at Asda. So I'm going to try around this little area here before making my way now to Sainsbury's. Morrison's, Tesco's, uh, KFC and McDonald's. You could have earned four club car points. If it says you could have earned, that means you can take the customer services with your club card and get them added on. You can only add two receipts per day, which is pretty good. And there's another one. You could have earned 14 club card points. So you can add these two on today and any others I find I can do another day. Super. And as you can see over here, but the problem is this is a retail park, so it might not be a Tesco. Oh, yep, it's a Tesco Express. 
and I used the club card so that was no good to me and there's another one you could have earned 28 club card points just like any other store you'll always find them left in trolleys you'll find them other places as well blowing across the car park and trapped in bushes and things but the easiest place to find the driest receipts is going to be in the trolleys in the bays well that's it happy wombling catch you later and don't forget if you haven't subscribed already please do and also give a thumbs up and share and uh, don't forget to join us on wombling.co.uk and i'll see you later Stephen is the man with the hat and a wombling eye oh, oh. Looking for receipts and treasures to find oh, oh. He wobbles in the morning, he wobbles at night Finding value in the things that others leave behind New videos every week, so please subscribe Catch you later